Welcome back to Geology Info. Today we're talking about the massive eruption of Mount Luatobi in Indonesia. It's already considered the largest in 15 years. Stick around to the end, this video is unmissable. On Flores Island, located in Indonesia, nature once again showed its incredible strength. The region, known for intense seismic and volcanic activity, is part of the famous Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone that holds some of the world's most dangerous fault lines. With more than 120 active volcanoes spread across its territory, Indonesia constantly lives under the threat of eruptions and earthquakes. Since the tragic Maripai event in 2010, which caused the loss of hundreds of lives, the country has maintained close surveillance on its most active volcanoes. This week, it was Mount Luatobi Laki Laki's turn to grab the world's attention with one of the most powerful eruptions since Merapi. Located on Flores Island, this volcano erupted twice in one day, launching ash columns to astonishing heights, almost 11 miles into the sky. This intense activity led to dozens of flight suspensions and blanketed entire villages in thick ash. The event created a dramatic visual display, with a white plume quickly engulfed by thick, dark ash clouds. These particles spread rapidly, disrupting air traffic and affecting the daily lives of nearby residents who saw their homes and streets covered in volcanic debris. Fortunately, there have been no reports of loss of life so far, and let's hope it stays that way. Since the previous eruption on June 18th, the volcano has remained at the highest alert level. Authorities have doubled the exclusion zone radius, extending it to nearly 4.3 miles due to increased frequency and intensity of eruptions. Drone footage revealed that the crater is filling with lava, a clear sign of deep magma movement that could further escalate the situation. In addition to the towering ash clouds, avalanches of scorching gas mixed with rocks and lava are flowing down the slopes of the volcano, which stands over 5,200 feet tall. This behavior indicates that internal pressure continues to rise, increasing the risk of more powerful explosions at any time. Earthquakes have also been recorded as magma pushes toward the surface. Around 11 a.m. on Monday, the day's first eruption launched a gigantic ash cloud into the sky. It was the highest release of volcanic material since the eruption of November 2024, which sadly resulted in the loss of nine lives and left dozens injured. Liwatobi's recent activity, erupting in March, June, and now again, shows it remains highly active. The force of the eruption didn't end that morning. By around 7.30 in the evening, the volcano once again spewed lava and ash, this time reaching heights of up to 8 miles. This new activity reaffirmed the instability of Mount Luatobi Laki Laki and strengthened the warnings issued by local authorities and Indonesia's geological agency. The impact was immediate and serious. At least 24 international and domestic flights between destinations like Bali, Australia, Singapore, and South Korea were cancelled or severely delayed. Fortunately, at that time, Bali's airspace had not yet been affected by the volcanic ash, but authorities continued close monitoring. On the ground, residents faced the direct consequences of the eruption. The ashfall was so intense that it blocked sunlight for nearly 30 minutes in several villages, creating a dark, suffocating environment like late dusk. Some ash particles, the size of small rocks, fell with enough force to cause injury, emphasizing the urgent need to stay far from the volcano. Authorities reported that volcanic debris the size of a thumb was thrown as far as five miles from the crater. This reinforces the call to expand the exclusion zone beyond the current 4.3 miles. A mushroom-shaped ash cloud filled with debris blanketed rooftops and streets, leaving scenes of destruction across nearby communities. Fear gripped local residents, who fled in motorcycles and cars to escape the rain of burning volcanic debris. In many cases, families left their homes with only the essentials fearing they'd be caught in another wave of eruptive activity. The authorities' message was clear. Stay at a safe distance and follow all emergency instructions. The intense eruptions were caused by a blockage in the magma release system. When there's an obstruction, internal pressure builds silently, without many seismic warnings, until the energy reaches a tipping point and bursts violently, like shaking a champagne bottle and popping the cork. That's exactly what happened at Loatobi Laki Laki, according to scientists monitoring the volcano. This kind of behavior isn't new to Indonesia. In 2010, Mount Merapi, another extremely active volcano on the densely populated island of Java, triggered one of the country's worst recent volcanic disasters. That eruption led to over 350 lives lost and forced the evacuation of more than 350,000 people. The memory of that tragedy remains vivid among Indonesians 
which is why any signs of strong volcanic activity are taken very seriously. Given this intense geological instability, the Indonesian government has issued constant warnings to locals and tourists to stay clear of the danger zone, which could be expanded at any time. Authorities stress that the risk goes beyond the eruption itself and includes secondary disasters like lava floods if heavy rain occurs. The mix of water and volcanic material can form a destructive current capable of wiping out everything in its path. The people of Flores Island, though accustomed to living near volcanoes, are now experiencing days of deep anxiety. With ongoing earthquakes and continuous activity, tension remains high. The fact that Luatobi has two craters, one male, one female, adds complexity to its behavior, requiring intensified monitoring by specialists. Drone and satellite images reveal the scale of the phenomenon and show lava accumulation inside the crater, indicating the eruption cycle may not be over. This kind of buildup often precedes further explosions, which could mean more days of maximum alert and more disruption for communities near the volcano. The economic impact is also being felt. Flight cancellations directly affect tourism and local commerce, especially in popular destinations like Bali, which attracts thousands of visitors every month. Hotels, travel agencies, and airlines are struggling with waves of cancellations and rebookings, while authorities try to balance public safety with economic activity. Amid all this, here's a global wake-up call. The Earth is alive, and the Pacific Ring of Fire continues to unleash its power. What happens in one area can affect others, as recent seismic swarms in Japan and accelerated tectonic plate movements suggest. Everything might be connected. The planet is speaking. It's up to us to listen. If you found this content important, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notification bell for updates. Share this video with friends and family so more people can stay informed about natural phenomena happening around the world. And drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think these linked eruptions signal something bigger? Let's talk.